He was so young, man. He was finna go to college. In 2014, an unarmed 18-year-old named Michael Brown was fatally shot by a police officer in Ferguson, Missouri. Brown's death is one of 1,200 deaths resulting from police violence every year. That means police are killing more than three people every day. We've seen protests nationwide, but for comprehensive policy reform, we need to take street activism online. Born out of Black Lives Matter, We the Protesters is the first digital civil rights movement in the U.S., enabling real-time activism to end police violence. My name is Sam Sinyangwe, co-founder of We the Protesters. On August 9, 2014, Michael Brown Jr. was shot and killed in the streets of Ferguson, Missouri. His death sparked nationwide protests that have reverberated and sustained until this day in places like Charlotte and Tulsa. In the early months of the protests, the national conversation was dominated by this question of whether these police shootings were isolated incidents or part of a broader pattern or practice of police misconduct and violence against black communities. And the reason those questions continued to percolate was because we didn't have comprehensive data on the subject, because the federal government didn't collect the data that we needed to answer that question. At that time, I was a policy researcher working at an Oakland nonprofit, and I wanted to get involved. So I connected with the leading activists on the ground in Ferguson, and together, we built the most comprehensive database of people killed by police in the United States. We found that over 1,200 people are killed by police every year in this country. And we used the data, together with activists and organizations, to build a comprehensive policy agenda called Campaign Zero. And we designed digital tools and technologies to connect people directly with their representatives so that they could advocate for these policies to be signed into law. This is one of our latest tools that we have launched. It allows you to put in your current location or your zip code. It shows you who your state representatives are, what their policy positions are related to policing, and allows you to contact them directly, all in three clicks or less. In the past year and a half since we founded, we've had an incredible impact. We have sat on and shaped the President's Task Force on 21st Century Policing. We have shaped Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and the DNC agendas on policing. And we have changed police department use of force policies in cities like Orlando. But we're only just beginning. There are currently 104 million Americans that support the Black Lives Matter movement. What if we engage them all in the work? It should be as easy as taking out your phone, saying, I'm a lawyer, I have three hours a week to contribute, and I'm based in San Francisco, and it tells you exactly the task that you can do right now to get involved. That's the tool we're building. And together, by building this tool, we can scale and sustain this movement for years to come. So I invite you to invest in the first digital civil rights movement, and together we can build a world in which black lives matter. Thank you.